Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Tony, it is me, it is I, and in today's video we are going to be discussing how I just decided to go for it, um, moments and things that I went through with my transition when I decided to live as a woman full time, and everything that's come with it, you know? And hopefully this video will help some of my trans sisters, and if it does, please let me know, or if you guys have any advice for anybody, leave them down below. Let the community know, we're here to help each other, y'all. We are here to transition together, honey. So just remember that now for starters i have been transitioning for about two and a half years now um outwardly i want to say like almost a solid year we're in august actually so a solid year this month that i have been transitioned living uh my life as myself living my life as a woman full time and <sighs> steps and things that i did was how can I explain it? There's a lot that goes into it. Everybody's life is gonna be different. Everybody's gonna feel completely different about the situation, but I'm gonna share with you what I did for myself. Now, the one thing that I think really stapled me in my transition was when I decided to get my long hair extensions. This is a picture of when I got them, I'm gonna throw them up here. But when I got those extensions, I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. I'm no longer gonna wait. I'm not looking for anybody's approval at that point anymore. And also at that point, I already had been in therapy for months on end. Therapy 100% helped me. If you have not done therapy and you're trans, get you a therapist just because they are going to be the, the best thing ever. Luckily, I was really, really blessed that my therapist was also transgender and she was kind of like a like a, like a a big sis almost, like where she was like, girl, what are you holding back for? And that's the one thing that she would always tell me. She'd always be like, what is holding you back, girl? Just go for it. You, you got it. Just do your thing. Live your life. And for me that really stuck to me when she would tell me J you got it just just go for it stop being scared she would always ask me what is holding me back and i would always sit there and think to myself what is holding me back why am i holding back so much on my transition like what about it and i had to do a lot with family and when i really sat down one day and thought to myself like my family is living their lives very happily they're not holding back they're getting married they're having kids they're living their life why am i going to hold back on my life and the things that i want and what i want to do with myself for their approval. They're clearly not asking me for my approval. So that was one thing that I really had to remind myself is that you have to live your life for yourself and you're not here to please anybody else, you guys. You are not, repeat that to yourself. You are here to make yourself happy. You are not here to make your brother, your sisters, your cousins, nobody happy. Now, be ready and be strong. You gotta be strong in here to deal with all of the backlash and all of the things that go on in life and all of the things that people are gonna tell you because people just for some reason think they can tell you their opinion and at the end of the day girl it doesn't matter their opinion does not matter so like i was saying once i got my i i went and got extensions permanently that that really stapled it for me and after that i was like i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna go for it and i started to feel the desire of the things that i wanted like the life that i was getting to live meaning my life just out there living the fantasy and like exploring and trying everything new from like a different point of view was amazing now, I'm not going to lie, y'all. It, it wasn't easy. Like, for me, it was really, really hard. I remember that I would I would walk around like this. Like, I would go into the store with my head down so that nobody would look at me. But one thing that I've learned through my transition is that if you walk up in there and you walk up in there like, Hi, can I can I find the register, please? And then, they, you know, they tell you, Oh, man, it's over there. And you walk up and you do your little return and you walk up in there like you don't care and that you're comfortable in your skin, then that's all you need. Because trust me, the moment you start to feel comfortable in here mama the moment you the moment that you're comfortable in here that's the moment that you're going to be ready for your full-on transition at least in my eyes like i said everybody's transition is different to me when i started to feel comfortable all up in this body and in this heart and everything that i was becoming that's when i feel like my transition started to go a lot smoother when i would walk in head held up high and did my thing girl that's when i felt comfortable and i just said fuck it um, but everybody's timing will be differently. So remember that too. But you got to give yourself the time. The one thing about transition is that there is no timeline. There is literally no timeline. There's no day that says, oh, today you're going to wear a dress or today you're going to start doing this. There's no day that you have to set those days. Nobody's setting those dates for you. And I think that was the hardest part for me at first because I remember when I started my transition, I said in a year, once I've been on hormones for a year, I'm going to tell people that I've been transitioning. And the reason why I set a goal a year for myself was because I was nervous to talk about it then. Like right off the bat that, oh, I started my transition, you know, because I wasn't comfortable even saying I am transgender. Like, girl, I would be like, oh, I'm transgender. 
now I'm like, girl, she's trans and she's out here living her life. And that's the one thing it's like, you gotta speak it with confidence and let them know that you mean everything in here. Like, set a goal for yourself of like a timeline. Like today I'm gonna do this, by this month I wanna be doing this, by this month I wanna be doing that. It's kind of like just when you create goals for yourself in general, like you have to have a, a deadline. You do and you don't. Like I don't want to sound like, oh my God, I have to be completely transitioned by the time I'm this much. But what I'm saying is like, create milestones for yourself create moments where you're like oh yeah i'm hitting that moment and for me it was like i was nervous to wear dresses i was nervous to do wear a skirt wear high heels out in public but the more i started to do these things the more comfortable i felt with it and you know how they say the more you do things the more comfortable you're gonna be i'm not kidding sis the more you do the thing that you want to do the more comfortable you're gonna feel and the more you're not gonna care the more you're gonna stick up for yourself because people are gonna be assholes and they're gonna um they're gonna misgender you they're gonna be fucking dicks but that's where you got to speak with confidence and say, I'm sorry, it's she. Yeah, sorry, she. Not him, it's she. Because believe me, I'm not like, and I've said this in the past, I'm not sitting here saying that I am the most beautiful person on the planet Earth because that is not necessarily true. Do I think I'm beautiful? Yes, but that's because I love myself and I feel beautiful. But when I'm out and about, people will be like, oh, him. And I look at them and I'm like, sis, don't be rude, mama. Don't be rude because clearly we know I'm not trying to look like a ham, okay? If I was looking like this, then I would understand, call me him. But now, no. Nobody's gonna clock me right away and those things are gonna happen. Like, they're gonna happen. But I think that the more they start to happen, the, e the easier it becomes for you to deal with them or, or you figure out how you like to deal with them, you know? So don't be scared of people clocking you. I know it's gonna suck and some people are gonna be dicks and they're gonna do it on purpose. But the moment that you know how to react to them, is that that's that's your moment you gotta be like no sis she is a girl i don't know what you're talking about so remember that another thing that i wanted to let you guys know is that your transition you have to remind yourself that you're literally going through puberty all over again literally 100 percent all over again because you know when you're 14 you don't know what you're gonna look like so i didn't even think i was gonna look like this you know like i will throw pictures of what i used to look like and i thought that's what i was gonna look like i know it's just it looked like a lot but Remember that it's it's like a like a second puberty and like you know there's so much that you can do and if you want to change something don't be scared to get a plastic surgery or do whatever you want but just stay strong says the biggest thing I can say is stay strong have that literally those that inner strength in you that you are there for yourself and the respect and love for yourself that you are like I am woman hear me and roar okay literally that's the best thing i can give you and trust me like i said i got misgendered at work by one of the girls when i was working and i was just like oh sis i'm gonna let this one slide girl i'm gonna let this one slide but the moment you misgender me again girl we're gonna have an issue maybe that's my fault i should have i should have corrected her right then and there this is a lot we're going through a lot of changes it's a lot of work it's a lot of stuff that goes on but don't be scared girl i don't know guys just stay strong be ready for everything that's to come because through all the heartache and the pain and the misgenders you are going to get to a point where you're just so happy that those things don't matter and remember the one thing that i've said to you guys many many times is that everything that you want is on the other side of fear it's on the other side of fear you're the only one holding yourself back i've done it to myself don't worry it, it takes time but i'm a believer that as long as you work at it you'll be fine so with all that said my beautiful sisters i'm gonna let you go now because I have to edit this video and I want to go to Laguna. I'm going to try to hit up Laguna later on today. I don't know what I'm going to do out there. I'm going to go by myself and just drive down there and just sit by the water. But you guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you want to watch. All right, y'all. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram. Message me. You guys know I will DM me if you have any questions. Shout out to all of my beautiful sisters that are transitioning right now. We are beautiful flowers. Give yourself the time to be a cook. Give yourself the time to be in that cocoon is what I'm trying to say. And with all that said, beautiful people. I will talk to you later.